Welcome back to Kingdoms of Amula. Ooh, body. Why did I say I'm so excited? Just for a body. Junk. <laughs> and now my excitement is now turned to displeasurement. Why? Death notice. Death notice. Wait, is another areas? Oh wait. Oh, we're over there. Well, for now. Travelling back a long way. Polished armor. Isn't it polished armor? Is it unused armor or something? Swan. Greetings. That must have been one hell of a boggart. And antelope. Burgust. And something that's not there. I would have loved to fight that thing. Wow. I never even noticed it before. The halls of Ironfast Keep are at your command, True Shield. No! What? You bastard! That rotten, useless idiot! How could he do this to me? He said he'd come back! Please, you must be mistaken. Please, tell me it's someone else. That fool. Go away, please. Poor lady. Right, carry on. Ignore the sadness. We'll just keep carrying on. Right, who else should I uh, upset today? No, no. Is that two in this place? Thirty-four and thirty. Not so good. Students of magic, more. masters of spells. <laughs> Don't you just love the luminary leaf? I could sit here reading for days and not reach past the first shelf. What are you gonna have to? How do you know my brother? Wait. He's dead? Ram. No. It can't be. I told him. I told him this would happen, but he wouldn't listen. Pig-headed fool! War isn't the way. Anyone who knows history knows that. But Ram was too impatient for words. He was so brash, so... brave. So where is Hack? Guessing. Over here, some? That doesn't seem right. Come on, you could have at least made a Student staircase of magic, there. Masters of spells. You guys lazy? That's five gold ever market. Over common Come, sense. Have a look. Fifty gold. Handlers. Rathia sails with you this day. Godspeed. I hope they don't attack with the trolls again. <laughs> okay, it's definitely not here then. And I can't see. Where it would be on any of them. So, for now, ignore that quest. Just 
deliver to Odessa, so not been there yet. No. Nope, definitely not. No, I can't do that. No point, no point, no point. Oh wait, here's that one. So where's this one sitting? I think I'll go to Odessa. The only place I haven't been yet. lovely hold right there newcomer I welcome you to Odessa but before you enter I must catalog your visit please answer the questions as truthfully as possible it's imperative that our tallies be accurate now what brings you to Odessa adventure hmm excuse my rudeness I am Senar Bruges, Talier second class to the Domus Politica. My purpose is to sort those that come to Edessa, to welcome them to the city while maintaining the delicate balance we gnomes have achieved. Okay. They help sort the newly arrived in the city. We want to ensure that everyone is placed where they properly belong. Placed? Sounds like placing slaves somewhere. Yes, well, at least you look more put together than some of the people that came here before you. Poor sods. With any luck, your errands go without incident. Now, where have you come to Odessa from? Um... Too truthful? Or very avoidable, but true? F f for Morris Hughes? You mean to say you've come from Alistar? Yes, I, I see it now. They were wrong about your nose, but you match the description of the one I was to look out for. We can dispense with the remainder of my questions. You are free to enter Edessa. Sandstone Villa will serve as your lodgings. Temporarily. When he mentioned about my nose, did my eye just twitch? Like, it's wrong about my nose, twitch. This is rare, newcomer. Very rare. If I can speak frankly, I'm not sure this is the blessing you take it to be. True, you have been saved from the squalid lodgings of the Hospitalis Quarters. But Sandstone Villa is reserved for... Uh, well, it is not my place to speak of it. This key will provide you with access to the villa. You would do well to be very aware of your surroundings, stranger. Now, good day. I yes, yes, go on. What's wrong with this place? Looks great. Especially the eye up there. I thought it was saying you're not allowed then. You. So, you're the one that's come from Alistar. I've waited more than a while for you to show up. I'm Bruton, the Canis Bruton of the Praetorians. I've been stationed here for your protection. I bet I can beat you in one hand combat. I won't lie to you, long legs. You being housed here is because someone wants to give an eye on you. I don't even know who it is. But I can tell you one thing. A gnome who keeps secrets in this city isn't up to anything good. Better to track them down before you or anyone else gets hurt. Luckily, looks like I'm not the only one that noticed your arrival. Got some letters here from the other concerned parties. Could be some leads. Because someone important enough in this city said you needed it. You're being watched. Either you charm someone high up or you piss them off. Either way, they don't want you on your own. It's probably the second one, actually. I have killed quite a few people. My orders come from high, that's all I know. 
you ask me, only a Templar is the kind of pull to set you up here. Good luck trying to learn any more than that. If a Templar wants to remain anonymous, they have the influences to pull it off. I'm not a mage. Hey, and here they are. Talking with any of their authors should get you in the right direction. I won't lie to you. I'm sticking my neck out here, helping you the way I have. But I won't stand to let any one gnome ruin the greater good of my people. Need anything else, talk to my Lou. He's been stationed as your retainer while you stay in the villa. Who should I know? It was a Dresden sign. I just checked for poison and all that. Just track down whoever wrote them. You do know how to read, right? That might be useful. Okay, now you're looking down at me. Yeah, good hunting. Is that it? Milo, at your service. Greetings, Master. I am Milo. I am here to manage the household affairs of Sandstone Villa, should you have any need of my services. Nope. Farewell, Master. These gnomes are very nice. Junk. Place that in this chest. <laughs> yeah, wear peasant clothing when I'm at home. said letters, not letter. <laughs> Seriously, doesn't this house have anything? It's huge. I could have a party in here and destroy it. And it still wouldn't make a difference. <laughs> enough peasant clothing in here to suit a family. I thought that was just a very nice floor. I didn't think I had a bar for a pool in this room. It's like, oh, that's a nice green floor. <laughs> oh, no, it's water. Tell me there's near enough nothing in this building. <laughs> if I didn't have the achievement of smashing loads of boxes, I've got loads of boxes in here. My little at your service. Hello? Hello? Oh. I must have speak to you. Well, it seems you're not here for work, based on how the gnomes oh. seem to be treating you. What can I do for you? Nothing, apparently. Be seeing you. Oh. Hmm? What? I got enough things on my mind, stranger, without dealing with the inquiries of a busybody. You look injured. Yes, off with you. You're injured. I'm trying to help. Oh, oh prison. Nope. Wait, does that mean you got the key? Yeah. <laughs> You're a fake weaver and you live on the streets. 
but fate's not been kind to you. What? Nothing. I can promise you'll always find the goods you need at Sembles. Care to browse? Hmm. Nope. No. Please come by again. Got the forge hot, stranger. If you need repair work for armor or weapons, I'm your man. All right then. Yep. Okay. Got the forge hot, stranger. There you go. If you need repair work for armor or weapon, all right then. I am all right, thank you. I just wanted to sell that, well, scrap that junk before I um, repaired it by accident. Yes. But I'm only going to take it if it's decent. <laughs> Gems for sale. Ah, and so our guest from the villa has come to my shop. Is there anything in particular you're looking for? Better things. Oh. You'll Wait. be back. You'll be back. Yes? What do you mean I'll be back? You sell junk. I have a fully stocked apothecary if you need it. Driador's always got your needs covered. This guy actually has decent things. But I don't think I'll be needing any of that. I'll be here. Shopping for books? Maybe. Ah, the guest of Sandstone Villa. If you've a head for books, then please peruse my wares. What is it with the last two games I've been playing and the word peruse? <laughs> Peruse my wares. I'm gonna smash your face in. I hate the word peruse. Come again! <laughs> Meh. I'm actually getting anything out of this. So I might end up having to, um, hey, diamond in the rough. So what is it? Okay. Perk. Nope. Uh, how do I go back? Aha. Nope. I need, but maybe a better one. First four tiers of finesse my and sorcery. That's a decent item. Don't need it yet. Protection physical. Had to show me again. Blessings to you. The <laughs> shop of half junk. Yes. Some of it's good and some of it's bad. Hey, mm. You look like you have some free time on your hands. Care to earn a bit of coin? Not really. Uncatalogued tomes are stored and protected in warded containers. If you save me some time, I'll pay you well. All I need you to do is go to each container and dispel the ward on it. I'll pay you for each one you manage to dispel. Excellent. I'll have some brought up. 
They'll be in the upstairs alcove waiting for you. A pleasure. So, if I don't successfully do it, that's it. Don't get paid. Oh, oh, very good. I may have to recalibrate some parts of my study. I was forced to estimate the proportions. Well, no matter. You have come. I am glad you received the letter I left at the villa. My experiment can begin in earnest. Huh? Indeed. There are a variety of subjects that the Templars are having we scholars research. It is an unfortunate necessity that some of these projects be conducted in secret. Such as the study of Alistar. Now, I've no mind to question you about the events there. I just need a test subject to help chart the magic you wield. I am Farid Ouet, scholar, third class. My areas of study center on magical acuity in unadept races. I do not know what was going on in Alistar, but I know it required an immense amount of magical energy. Even if you were but incidentally exposed to that, studying one such as you is imperative for my work. If you must know, I had petitioned for space in the Sandstone Villa for some of my more delicate experiments. When I learned what it was being reserved, I was able to obtain some delicate information, unlearned of you and Alistar. Splendid! I've set up some space for us in the mine nearby. It will allow us to exert ourselves fully. I will monitor your ability against some specimens I've had sent during my time here. At great expense, mind you. I will head over to the mine presently. Please join me at your earliest convenience. Okay. So long. So long. <laughs> Who are you? Damn bloody fool thing, Lauren. Oh, did not see you there, stranger. We were asleep. Uh... What? What the devil are you talking about? I don't have any sort of, did you say, master's pick? Just about the only possession I had that was wholly my own. Isn't even mine any... Oh, now why am I telling you this? Leave me. Friendly? Yes. It has been too long since I've had a friendly, decent person to converse with. My vows. Well, I never had this master's pick, but I did have a strangely unopenable jewelry box until the Praetorians confiscated it. Now it's rotting in the armory, Wait. and all because they think I'm in league with someone they don't support anymore. Such a bother. Ah, very well. Because of my glowing arms, she was on fire. All these buildings look the yes. same now. Okay. <laughs> Only if it's decent. Nope. Greetings. Have you done all the work you've wanted to? I see. I'll pay you for the containers you dispelled. Speak with me again if you want more work. Good. You can find them in the same place. Speak to me when you've managed to do at least one. A pleasure. So how many times do I have to do this? To please you? Greetings. 
so that I don't have to do it again. Or does it go up in difficulty? Ah, not even trying anymore. Yeah, this is a waste of time. Don't be scarce, you're going to say greetings to me again. Greetings? Yes. Can't you say something else? Huh? Well, have you done all the work you've wanted to? I see. I'll pay you for the container. Uh, I'm a pleasure. All that for 90 gold, basically 180. <laughs> yes? Memoirs. Require something? Yes, your shop. Ah, the guest of Sandstone Villa. How can the Domus Politica be of service today? Have you got any lockpicks? And a backpack. I'm fine with what I've got. And that's technically a waste of time. I might be doing might. Just as there. well. Oi, you, wake up. Oh dear, oh dear. Things seem to have gotten worse than I thought. Ah, stranger, I think I have, uh, I mean, uh, require the assistance of, well, uh, your kind. It's quite urgent and quite, uh, sensitive. You mean an adventurer? There's a letter, one I was writing. I'm a scribe, you see. I received word from the Basilica to draft it from Scholar Erencourt. A strange letter, meant for Rathir. And though we know are neutral, well... The letter gave encouragement, not promises. Never give promises, that's the rule. The letter was written, sealed and sent, but never arrived. Scholar Erencourt means to have my head for losing it. I need that letter recovered. I have one need for you. The courier that took that letter from me he was a traveler. A docker farm in Parwin Well from Suncamp. She said Erencourt arranged the delivery. They had no reason to suspect. Travelers are often used as couriers in these lands. But she was the last to have that letter. Fair enough. So knowing that, I probably have to kill her. Everything involves on killing. Or have I got this game wrong? Why is there gold in a bookshelf? Yes? What do you want? Fancy I am not in the habit of making conversation with strangers, especially one of your stature. Please be quick. Oh, excuse me. I see. Think very, very carefully about what you are saying. Octien is a Templar. He is in a position of the highest authority. And who, may I ask, are you? For you to accuse Octien without having a direct confession is not only meaningless, but contrary to all our procedures. Even if this were true, or even already suspected, it would have to be corroborated by Octien himself. That requires a confession. As he is not here to present the charges himself, I must assume that no such confession exists. Now, I have done all I can for you. Please, trouble me no further with this matter, especially with such insufficient evidence. We have already discussed this. Nothing short of a confession would convict him. As such, Templar Octien will remain undisturbed in the Lavrarium. 
But so you wouldn't know there were, if anyone done a crime, you will not arrest him until he admitted that he done it. Oh dear, I just stole ten million pounds. Oh no, I um, that's not a confession. I didn't do it. It's not a confession, you can't arrest me. It's not a confession. The ten million that's currently in the bank. It appeared by magic. has got a lot of junk in this building. Not even worth taking. Desk, desk, armor, dresser. No. There's literally nothing in this building worth taking. Hello. I'm here to send regrets on behalf of Templar Joriel. While she wishes to extend you aid, she's stymied by protocol. Okay. What she gave you was an official response. I'm here to give you another response. A personal one. So, are you talking about the Templar that told me that? I am a political aid for Templar Joriel. I operate in a number of capacities for the Templar's official and unofficial business. My superior has suspected for some time the crimes that you've levied against Templar Octien. But like you, she is frustrated by his status. Allow me to be direct. If you can make Templar Octien publicly acknowledge his crimes, then Templar Joriel will reward you. She will be your patron of sorts. You wish to bring the Templar to justice, yes? Then you must get him to publicly acknowledge his crimes in some form. As my superior no doubt told you, the Templar may be found in the Livrarium. I suggest you go there. Ah, so she was on my side. She was just being... Yes? Basically doing her job. Saying, no, not true, get lost. Odessa Armory. Shot two trainers and another merchant. Okay, what hasn't this place got? The bells. Oh, God, not again. I've done that last What's needed? Chicken. <laughs> hmm? Ain't no merchant, ain't no trader. Got no coin, got no bread. So what are you needing out of me? Your experience. Oh, I can actually do it. Um... I was going to say no then. Yeah, yeah. Take. Take. <laughs> Chickens. <laughs> Must go upstairs. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Always happy to see a new face. Been some time since we've had a new arrival. Yeah. So long. So. Well, he's flow. <laughs> ah, satisfying. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Great vocabulary, guys. <laughs> oh, 
Hi. And my cellar? Yeah. We've no clean mugs and no clean beds. There's no tavern business running today. Not bad, but it's still rubbish compared to my current one. Good. Bye. Oh, there was a stairs this side. And I was right next to it. I is blind. Waffles. <gasps> Are another one blown in from the desert? Can't say I'm surprised. Just nowhere else to run from the war. Travel far. Awaiting you. What is it? You guys have junk in here. Hmm? I'm getting tired of all your grunts. Yeah. All right, let me finish. Sorry, but thank you. Hey, guy. Well, don't suppose I'm speaking to the new guest of the Sandstone Villa. I heard someone had taken occupancy there. I suppose you've come to the quarters to slum it, eh? Or are you inclined to lend a hand here? We're in a curious position here. The gnomes are obliged to help us, but they don't really want us dirtying up their city. So they shove us in here. Better than the wastes, but not by much. And if we try to improve the situation, we'll be turned out. We need someone who can stand up for us without getting us evicted. And who isn't afraid of bending some gnomish laws. Right, so killed some politics. I, I think that might be an order. Here's an advance for your help. You'll get the rest when the jobs are finished. You can find the petitions board in the quarters. Answer two of them and I'll hold the job complete. Avlier can tell you more about the tasks. And we'll... So long! Is that a quick way down? That'll be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Dead chicken. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. And there's still quite a bit of the city I need to explore still. And bye bye.